In a previous video, I showed you how to add new control points using Johnson Controls CCT software. Now we're going to talk about getting that into our system where we can add it to our graphics and everything else. You can see here is the graphic for the air handler that we're going to be adding these points to. Uh, we're going to be adding them to the system and then, of course, modifying the graphics to go along with that. Now, I'm just going to show how to add them into your system for now. First thing that you want to do is go to the device on the network tree. You're going to hit the plus sign and then you are going to discover those new control points. Now, of course, this is after you have downloaded the new programming into your device. So you will simply select a plus sign and then of course it's going to walk you through the process. You're going to drill down into all of the points here that you can see. This is everything that's in that controller. Find those points that you want and then add them to the network tree of your system. You can see here I've already got that done so I do not need to add those now. Of course these are those two points that we added in that CCT software. If you're curious about how to do that go back and check out that other video. Again, these are controlled by the existing uh, devices, the existing dampers. This is just an additional set of dampers that was added to this system, additional actuators that was added to this system. Uh, we're going to first begin by adding this into the equipment definitions, and where we begin with that is in SCT. So the first thing that you need to do is upload a copy of that network engine. Okay, make sure that everything is up to date uh, as far as what is on your network tree. It has to be in the SCT archive. Uh, you can see here I'm drilling down to the device. It is currently not there. Those points do not currently exist under that controller, and that's why I need to add them to this database. And there again, guys, you can do a lot of other things in SCT. I'm not going to go into the details of that. This is just a down and dirty of getting a project done, getting it finished, getting it in service. Okay, that's what we're doing here. Uh, I'm just simply going to upload the network engine, and then I'm also going to make sure that I upload the ADX server as well. I want to make sure that I have copied everything and have backups of everything before you start a problem like this. You don't want to put your system down and then have nothing to go back to if something were to go wrong. You can see here currently uploading the network engine. I'm going to also upload the server and get that taken care of. Okay, So it's going to take just a few moments to get them uploaded and then we will be coming back and talking about what we have to do to get them into the equipment definition. Now that we have uploaded both the network engine and the ADX server, what we're going to begin is modifying the equipment definition as well as the equipment object. And of course modifying the equipment object is basically the end goal. If you've gone through and checked out some of the other videos that I've done on equipment definitions, uh, you'll get a better understanding of how those work. So we're going to drill down to the particular equipment definition that we're going to be adding these new points to. Uh, again, keep everything organized in your system with folders and things like that, and it will make work go much easier in the future. So this is the equipment definition for that air handler. And you can see here all of the points that we currently have are displayed here. The top half is the points that we pulled in. The bottom half of the screen is the order in which they appear. And we can change that simply by reordering them or by selecting or deselecting each of these points depending on what we want within our system. Okay, you're going to notice that we're going to go down to the air handler to where we uploaded that network engine. We're going to drop that down. We are going to go down to those particular points and you can see now those two new points are displayed in the SCT archive. You've got to upload those engines before you can do this. In order for us to get these onto the equipment definition and the equipment object, I am going to hit the edit button. I'm then simply going to grab those two points and drag them over into the panel, just like this. And when I drop them there and I scroll down, you can see the two new points. Okay, So I'm going to select those. That way they will appear on my display. 
Now, once I select that, I hit the save button and then I'm going to open in discovery. And once I get, get this, uh, this is basically all of those previous points. Now we are going to save this, but then we're going to come back and delete the equipment object that it creates because anytime you do something like this, it will create a separate equipment object and we don't necessarily want to do that. Okay, that's something that within SCT, within MUI, uh, there again guys, this is something you're going to have to work with to become more familiar with. You know, uh, if you tried to use that equipment object that it creates, it's going to display weird in your system. You're not going to get what you expect. So by doing this, it modifies the equipment definition, the equipment object to the, the way that we're going to need it to add those points back in. You can see here is the equipment object that it created. The equipment object, if you go back and check out some of those other videos that I've done, this is what we add to the spaces within MUI. Okay, this is what we would add to equipment spaces or whatever. This is where you would link your uh, the serving, you know, as far as like if you're trying to do some of the uh, f other features that are within MUI. This is what you have to set up in order to get those features to work properly. You don't want to just go adding points from the network tree into your graphics. You can, but it's a bad practice and you're not going to have the effectiveness that you should within your system. You can see here, this again is my equipment definition and I'm simply going to open that and you can see right here where it has created both of those objects, where it has created both of those. Now that I've deleted that one out, I'm simply going to scroll over. These are all the points. This is the original equipment object. Okay, this is where this, I want to modify this. Okay, I've simply scroll over. Here's my two empty points that are in the original equipment object and that's what I want to use the original equipment object by doing what you see me do before it modified this equipment definition in such a way that I have those points available to where I can add them in to the original equipment object I know I'm getting confusing to a lot of people but you really have got to spend the time and understand how equipment definitions and equipment objects work. If you do not take the time to understand those aspects, you will never understand how MUI operates. Go back and check out those other videos that I've got on this, guys. You've got to understand it. It's crucial. So now that I've got these, I'm simply going to drag them and drop them into, pl into place. And then I'm going to save what I have done. Okay, I simply hit that save button. And it's going to tell me that it's I've successfully modified an equipment object and yada, 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 all that kind of fun stuff. I'm now going to go up here and you can see it's wanting a download. I've got that green arrow because of the changes that I've done on my server. It wants that green arrow. And now I'm going to do a refresh on my screen. That's something that you need to remember that you always do occasionally is to refresh all tabs. And then from here, what I'm going to do is basically after I do the refresh, you could then go into your equipment objects panel, your equipment tab, and then you would be able to go through that equipment object and see what you do and what, you know, to see those changes that you made. Uh, and from here as well, once you get all of that done, guys, the only thing that you need to do is to then do a download of your server. You know, you go to your manage archive. You download that server or you can do a synchronization it really depends on your system uh, some of the of the earlier versions of MUI if you, you would have to do a download that's just for whatever reason they don't want to do the synchronization properly uh, it's a glitch in the system on certain versions so you'd have to do a download it's a very simple process but once you get that done once you download that server and get everything working the way that it should those points will then populate within your system okay yeah, they will populate they will show up and then you can add them from the um, you know from your alias uh, uh, object your equipment object or whatever into your graphic but again guys thanks for watching if you got any questions leave those down below thanks for watching check out the rest of the videos on my channel and we will see you next time